Wow, yeah, swear to God I'm with it. I don't see nobody in my lane. It's quite go get it like me. Wow, please don't be wasting my time with that business. Who are you kidding, man? Yeah, 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 yeah. Guys, 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 guys. It all makes sense now. I've had this flag in my possession for ages, and it, it, for the life of me, I just could not figure out who on earth it was, what team. And actually, to be honest, after looking at it, it's probably not the Texans logo, is it? No, it's not. Similar, but no. Anyways, guys, today we're going to be looking at uh, a Texans player, defensive end, Jadeveon Clowney. Um, absolutely no idea who he is, which is great. We've had 212,000 views on this player, so he, you know he's, he's not a slouch. And he's coming at number 63 on the list, so stay tuned guys, I'm going to roll the intro. And see you in a minute. The quicker you're here, the faster you go. That's why where I come from, the only thing we know is... Oh. It's my boy. Tweet at him all the time, he never tweets back. Jadavian. Oh, Jadavian. Taylor. It's my boy. Jadavian. Jadavian? Jadavian. Okay. Tweet at him all the time. He never tweets back. <laughs> he just wouldn't respond. Are they in the same team? Would be a big keyword of mine. Taylor, Taylor, Taylor. Oh no. Someone He's dropped 31 time. places. Big right foot step, gets through and sacks him. He's like 6'4", 207 pounds, runs a 4'5", outback ball. Huh? Get that really cool play that everyone blames me for. We play together twice a year, play against each other. Fun times. I've never seen anything like him. I actually trained with him for the combine down in Pensacola. And I remember our first day out there, we were doing a little pre-test to see where we were at in the 40. The guy got in the stands and ran like a 4'4". That just shows you the type of athlete he is. Hell no. Clowny, talking about being a clown, that's just funny. I want to see this shit. 1993, he's 26, 6 foot 5, 116 kilos, went, fir went the first pick in the 2014 draft. First pick. Outside linebacker, holy shit, man. South Carolina he went to for three years at college. Uh, six foot five and a quarter. Don't forget that quarter, by the way. 4.53, 40 yard dash, at the at the uh, at the combine. The fastest amongst defensive linemen, uh, which which caused USA Today calling him by far the most freakish, by far the most freakish physical specimen in this draft. Try try say that ten times fast. In his rookie year, June sixth, he signed a four year deal worth 22 million that featured $14.5 million signing bonus. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. On March 4th, 2019, the Texans placed the franchise tag on Clowney. Now, I'm not, ex I'm not exactly sure what that means still, but I believe it may increase the salary cap. It may increase the amount of money that they can earn, but I am gonna have to look that up. Three times Pro Bowl, 16, 17, 18. He came in as a first round, first pick. And he's been at the Texans ever since. And now he's a franchise player. Well, there you go. He's always just that guy that, you know, you gotta watch out for. But he's powerful, he's strong. He looks like a receiver. Arms. Doesn't he? Something about the hair. Connie is uh, is more flexible, so he can bend, which is scary because he can get underneath you faster and get to that quarterback. Yeah, they calling me out every play. Yeah, yeah. every time you on the ball, they're saying something about him, which is good. Yeah. Good. That's good. That's good. That's good. Get him thinking they can communicate. Maybe they'll mess up. He's so versatile. You know, they use him in all different places. 
Kick a lot of over to center. They lined him up in the A gap between the right guard and center. Oh, Bortles don't want none of that. <laughs> Even though he gave the hand off. Good Devion. Big hit. You talk about tremendous quickness and speed, along with some strength. You're describing today. These tackles, man, or these um, sorry, defensive end. Um, well, I guess it might be a tight end that they're putting on him, but it's most probably going to be some sort of offensive tackle. And these guys are just letting him past. Clowney can make life miserable for an offense, even when he's not hitting the guy with the ball. Against the Cowboys in week five, What's gonna happen Clowney here? doomed this run by Ezekiel Elliott. He disrupted both of Elliott's pulling guards, leaving the NFL's leading rusher with no one to follow and nowhere to run. Tremendous penetration by Clowney first. And that's my favorite part of this video so far. Watching a, a breakdown of a running back play. Can I just also love it. Wreck a game. Just ask the Colts. Oh, hold on to that ball. <laughs> Clowney has played some game. Look at what the Debian Clowney does to Quentin Nelson. I mean, he just throws oh. him right out of the club as he gets to Andrew Luck. In Houston's overtime win. Clowney had two sacks, four tackles for loss, and a fumble recovered for a touchdown. Huh. He's just like way more athletic and gifted than everybody else. But he honestly is a freak. I'll probably gonna tweet him today. Jadavian, tweet me back, buddy. Ah, uh, he's in the Titans. Okay, I was like, are they both in the same team? But one's in the Titans, one in the, one's in the Texans. I do get those two mixed up from time to time. All right, guys. That was number 63, J J Jadavion, Jadavion Clowney. Um, absolute physical specimen. You don't want to line up against him unless you're as wide as a house. And there's only a select few guys who are as wide as a house who can probably move as well enough to stop him. Anyways, guys, in the next one, I'm fucking excited. We're back to a running back, James Connor. I've seen his face pop up a couple of times on the interviews, but that's about it. I haven't seen any of his play. Um, Let's get into it. If you enjoyed the video guys, hit the like button. If you want to subscribe, please do. And I'll see you shortly.